Okay, like every young man, I one of those that thought that going to school alone is enough to give me a super successful life. Okay, but what did I do? Yes, that was why at all costs I had to go to school. Even when all odds was against me, I'm not going to school, but I still stood my ground and God helped me, I graduated. And of course, a graduate, not just with a first degree and the second degree at the same time. So I was excited that I was going out there to conquer the world, but I didn't know that life had a different thing waiting for me. So what happened? Well, immediately after my youth service, I got employed with the Federal Civil Service, well, which is not a very common thing in the current, current um, situation where we have found ourselves. Immediately I got employed with the Federal Civil Service and I was, wow, I am on my way to conquer the world. So I was there. You know, but immediately I joined the service. Within a very short time, I discovered that, no, this is not what I'm looking for that I needed more out of life. Yes, I needed more out of life. Now, what did I do? I said, no, I had to look for a way to get more out of life. Well, if you're wondering who is in your screen right now, my name is Obach Femeka. I'm an architect by training. And by the grace of God, one of the consultants, senior consultants of Century 21 Freedom Group International. Yeah, now let me go back to my story. So I had to it got to my neck and i said no i have to leave the system so yes i resigned what did i do i fired the federal civil service i fired my boss at that time which of course was the federal government i fired my boss and i didn't decided to live life on my own terms to be my own boss of course you expect that it wasn't gonna be funny but yes we were on it and what happened also, my wife also at that point also was also working with the Federal Civil Service and she also had to resign. So both of us resigned our, our appointment with the Federal Civil Service to go into the labor market as entrepreneurs. Well, it wasn't funny. It wasn't funny at all. There was nothing that we did not do to survive. Anything legitimate business we went into we went to so many things, you know, just to go to the point that we had to start selling food at the bus stop, you know, then in a in in the in, in Abuja, we had to sell food at the bus stop just to find how to make ends meet. But what happened? We weren't meeting up. Life was becoming unbearable. It was even getting to a point where I wanted to start regretting why we had to take the decision we took. But what happened? What at a particular point in my life? that I felt that, come, if I don't do anything about my situation, it, I would not like the, the outcome I will get. So what happened? What did I do? It got to a point, at the point I had to turn around was a point that my wife wanted to give birth to her last child. Well, for those of us that are parents, you know when a woman is hypertensive and also in labor at the same time. Well, I did not marry my wife a hypertensive person. She wasn't hypertensive when I got married to her. She got hypertensive in my house because of the stress I exposed her to, just in the quest of trying to live the life I wanted. Now it was rough. At that point, she was the point of delivery. Her chances of survival was slim. And that was the point when I go to God, went to God and prayers for for, for forgiveness, you know, asking him to have mercy on me, that if my wife could survive this delivery without stories, that I would thank him for life. And that he did, and until tomorrow I am forever grateful. But at that point, I took a decision. I said, no, that enough of this rubbish. I can't continue living life like this. That something has to happen, and something must happen at all times. And that was when I discovered that once you are tired, once because most times we find ourselves in our situations because we are truly not tired of our current situation. So we find a way of managing and as long as we keep managing, we keep getting what we don't really want. But at that point I told God, really I need a way out. And he said that once you have a strong will, there will always be a way. And at that point, what happened? A friend of mine, oh, that man forever will be grateful to him, called me and 
told me about this organization that this organization has the power to transform my life i was like what is he talking about now what happened i attended one of their session and that session is what has turned me to who i am today by the grace of god not just that i'm living life in my own terms i have been able to mentor people to also live life in their own terms i have traveled to various parts of the world all expenses paid vacation I have been decorated at high level of my organization just because of that singular decision I took. Today, I don't need to work for anybody. I work from home. I work at my own will and my family is comfortable. Now, that did not just happen by chance. It happened by choice. Now, you might be wondering, what made this happen to me? Well. To those of you hearing this right now, okay, if you want to know more about that session that I attended that transformed my life to what it is today, you can see my number on the screen, okay? Send me that you want to know more. Say, I want to know more to this number. And then once you do that, 